body tingles with bliss as the first story begins. It's time to venture to a cabin on a lake. There is a cabin on a magical lake that holds the most cherished of your memories and where you return to at the end of each summer to relish the last of the warmth and watch as fall arrives. Visualize that you are standing on a winding stone path that leads to a cabin that is surrounded by evergreen trees reaching towards the afternoon skies. You hear the gentle crunch of your canvas shoes as a breeze wafts towards you, blowing strands of your hair off your face. You inhale the fragrant air that is peppery and piney with a thin aromatic veil of the lake that makes you think of wet stones and splashing in shallow waters. The air has a lightness to it, clean and warmed by the sun. But within the tepid breeze, there is a cool taste of autumnal air on the way. You pause and admire the cabin, a cozy structure built many decades ago with amber-colored logs that glisten in the sun. The coniferous trees cast shadows like skinny cones that pour over the cabin and towards the lake behind the home. Their treetops are like fingers reaching towards the pure, clean body of blue-green water with a silvery gleam. You are with a dog who is your best friend on this journey and like you has come to this respite in nature over many years and seemingly many lifetimes. As a child, the cabin felt like a mansion to you. But as perspectives change over time, it now feels quaint and cozy. There is a deck that wraps around the entirety of the cabin. And you and your pup come to the front steps and ascend. You stand on the deck and approach the door, feeling the same anticipation you felt many times before after the long drive to the cabin. You feel the weight of your luggage on your back as you reach into your pocket and remove the key, inserting it into the lock and unlocking the door as you turn the knob. Your hand lands on the cool textured grains of the wooden door as you push it open and are overcome with a vibrant ray of sunlight that shines on your face like a spotlight. Particles of dust dance on the light as if a satchel of glitter were thrown into the air enchanting you. And each glimmering particle of dust is like a memory kept in this rustic getaway that plays before you in many reenactments. The sound of your own laughter and the laughter of those you love most serenades you as a melody that transports you back in time. Your dog runs towards the center of the room and jumps on a soft, worn-in sofa 
before spinning in a circle and getting cozy while you set down your heavy bags in the foyer. The ceilings are high above and there is a loft overhead that houses a sleeping nook. The main room smells of old books and these books rest in a built-in bookshelf that covers a wall where a fireplace rests in the center. You walk towards the mantle of the fireplace to take in the antique picture frames containing photos of you in different stages of life, enjoying the lake both alone and with others. All the seasons of your life are represented before you and you take a moment and feel gratitude for this special place in nature that exists for you right now. The back of the cabin faces the lake and the windows expand from ceiling to floor, angled to accommodate the A-frame ceiling. There is a kitchen that overlooks the lake, and you saunter across the wooden floor that leads to it as the old floorboards creak and sigh. The kitchen is nostalgic as well, and antique tins store hot cocoa and tea bags and coffee. The wooden cupboards are weather-worn and inviting, and you open one to find a big round mug that you remove to prepare your favorite warm beverage. You take the cast iron kettle from the stovetop and fill it with water from the deep farmhouse sink. Your pup runs into the kitchen with a fervently wagging tail and shadows your every move, looking to you for guidance on what happens next. You fill your mug with your preferred beverage and wait for the water to boil. You look out the kitchen window towards the silvery lake. Ripples form as a neighbor is canoeing in the middle of the lake. A few other cabins pepper the lake's perimeter, tucked into coves behind the lush greenery of evergreens and deciduous trees. The sound of the water boiling pulls you back into the moment, and you go to the stove and turn off the burner before pouring the water into your mug. As the steam rises from the cup, it carries the intoxicating smell of your beverage across the room. Mingling with the fragrance of pine and old books. You open a cabinet and remove a dog bone from a tin box, urging your pup to do a trick before catching it into light. You take your mug and return to the living room to retrieve a soft crocheted afghan from the sofa that you perch over your shoulder. Your pup waits with a wagging tail near the glass doors as you come along and open them out onto the back deck. Again, you are hit from the damp air traveling across the lake with a woodsy aroma as you descend the stairs towards a pathway that leads to a dock. 
You can smell a neighbor's campfire and watch as the smoke travels high above the water in a black squiggling line. Your dog runs ahead as you slowly balance your hot beverage and blanket, tiptoeing down the path. The lake is a mirror for the sky. The clouds and cornflower blue sky are reflected like a watercolor painting on silk, interrupted by gentle ripples. Your canine companion beats you to the wooden dock, and her nails click on the wooden planks. The incoming waves cascade on the pebbled shore, sounding in a shush that feels like the whisper of a mother rocking her child to sleep. As you reach the edge of the dock, you remove your shoes and sit on the edge dangling your feet above the water. You dip in one toe and then another, feeling the warmth of summer that remains, even as the late day air begins to cool. The days are becoming shorter, and this is your last hurrah of summer before fall encroaches. Your dog lays down beside you, nestling her head on her paws as she looks out on the lake. You watch your paddling neighbor in a canoe as he disappears into a cove. A family of ducks glide across the water in order from largest to smallest, as if a mother duck is leading her flock to the deeper waters of the lake. A fish breaches the surface of the water, creating a splash, just as other fish do the same as feeding time begins. The sun, like a glowing tangerine orange orb, with a marigold yellow halo disappears behind jagged silhouettes of pine and spruce trees. The last amber and honey-hued rays of light pierce through the spaces between branches before darkness sets in. You watch as a maple tree nearby loses a few leaves in the breeze before they softly land on the surface of the lake. While these iconic pointed leaves are still verdant in hues of green, the warm glow of the sky casts them in golden hues. It's foretelling as you see the leaves becoming orange and vibrant red from the fiery sky above. You imagine in suspended animation what it looks like as the season changes before you. The cool evening air rides the back of summer's warmth, setting the scene for autumn's glory. As you squeeze every last golden drop out of summer, with longing as a saturated magenta and orange sky dims, approaching twilight. Every drop of warm light comes down upon you in a hypnotic stream of sun-tinged drops as you reach out your hands and collect them. And you imagine these golden drops falling and melting into the warm lake where you kick your feet back and forth 
in waters that feel like a lukewarm bath. Summer is yours to remember, to hold on to, to keep you warm in the inevitable cold months to come. It may be collected in freckles, darkening complexions and tan lines, and the feeling of warmth that penetrates your skin on the longest of days. You look to your dog who continues to dreamily stare at the lake, which is now a deep shade of sapphire. The dark sky above reveals stars like silver freckles cast against a dark blue-black blanket of night. A sliver of a crescent moon takes center stage and is reflected back on the lake's silky surface. Fireflies appear above the water, skirting around the edges of the lake towards the brown earth and surrounding forest. You close your eyes and take in a deep breath, inhaling the fragrant lake that smells like flinty wet stones and the invigorating sensation of the pine and cedar trees. You sip your warm beverage, relishing the soothing liquid as it cascades down your throat. The lake rocks the dock, and you surrender to the undulations beneath you listening as the dock taps against stones in the lake. The percussive sound is dulled by the viscosity of the lake and reminds you of your own heartbeat that you feel thumping steadily yet slowly within your chest. You reach down to feel the downy fur of your pup placing your hand on her heart as well and connecting with the sensation of life. It is vibrant within you and within her. It is vibrant within the lake, within the trees, within the setting even as the encroaching chill of autumn slows everything down in preparation for winter. Having lived through so many summers at this cabin, on this mystical lake, you easily visualize the vibrant jewel tones of the deciduous trees in the coming months. You imagine being in a kaleidoscope of colors floating across the lake beneath the starry sky, like the maple leaf that has drifted to the center of the lake. For now, you surrender to the creaks of the dock and the crickets chirping around you. The rustle of the leaves still remaining on the trees is like a soft murmur hushing your mind and lulling you into a calm state. You listen to your dog sigh and it causes you to sigh with contentment as well. You look to the stars spotting the Big Dipper and thinking back to the first time you identified stars in the constellation. It feels like a lifetime ago, yet it also feels like it happened yesterday. You sense the fluidity of time as you wiggle your toes 
and watch ripples flow across the moonlit water. And memories appear on these ripples. And it's as if every moment in your life's timeline exists right now. You choose to conjure the summer's memory that makes you feel best and watch it play out on the reflective lake like a movie projected on the screen at a drive-in. You take a moment and see yourself living out this happy memories of summer's past, recognizing the part of you that feels exactly the same now as it did back then. The spark within you that lights up like the bright star in the sky and you connect with the infinite powers of the universe. You appreciate the predictability of day turning into night and of summer turning into fall as they give you a security and sense of trust. The trust pervades the night as you lie down on the dock all the better to see the stars. The dark silhouettes of the trees shelter the lake, providing a sense of privacy and safety. You hear an owl hooting in a nearby tree, and your dog's ears perk up in curiosity, before once again she relaxes on the dock next to you. You spread the blanket over you and your pup inches closer. You feel the furry warmth of her body as she presses against you. You look to the moon and imagine what it would be like to hang from it, floating among the stars swinging on a moonbeam from one star to the next. The firmness of the dock supports your spine as you begin to drift in a dreamy haze between sleep and consciousness. You decide to return to the comforts of the cabin and so you slowly rise you take your shoes and muff and walk barefoot on the cool wooden planks of the dock. The dog follows behind you as you step on the walkway and feel the damp ground below you, brought on by the humidity of the night. It's like you're in the center of an orchestra of crickets and tree frogs that sing their night's song. You come back to the cabin's deck and ascend the stairs as if you are floating through space rather than walking. You enter the cabin with your pup in tow guided by the soft glow of the outdoor spotlights. They offer enough light for you to sleepily make your way towards the wood stairs that lead to the loft. You ascend, counting each step as you go, looking out towards the wall of glass that faces the lake. You admire the sapphire waters now cast in a pearly haze from the moon as a fog gently rolls in across the lake. You inhale deeply and yawn, 
smelling again the aged pine beams of the cabin and the dusty books. You continue up the stairs to the loft with your pup in tow. A queen-sized bed awaits, covered in a patchwork quilt that bears the patches of fabric from clothing you once wore. It is a tapestry of memories. You remove your clothes and climb beneath a soft blanket and cotton sheets, getting cozy. Come morning, the last of summer sunlight will pour through the windows that face the lake. You will awaken restored and inspired to live the day to the fullest as you cherish the summer for all it has given you. But for now, you find sleep. You let go as your eyelids close and you sink so deep into the mattress. You're like a rock plunging into the deep waters of the lake and falling onto its soft, muddy bed. You drift and float, letting go of the night as you cross over into the dreamscapes that await. The sweetest of summers gone by will dance in your dreams beneath a quilt of memories that keeps you warm and tucks you in safely for the night. And you may surrender to sleep or drift along to the next story. The Fog. Imagine that you are inside a car, driving through the winding, gleaming, opalescent black road that weaves among a forest of redwood trees. Your window is slightly open and you feel the cool misty air landing upon your face, driving quite carefully. You find a soft mist is wafting just above the rich green grasses that border the shoulder of the road slowly dancing with grace as it hugs around the wheels of your car. You feel as if you are driving in a trance-like state, in tune with your surroundings and aware of all you must do, but also feeling the many miles behind you allowing the zen-like feeling that comes from the meditative nature of driving throughout a changing landscape on your way home. The mist is beginning to form droplets on your windshield. And in this relaxed state, you may play out any last impressions of your day you turn on the wipers and any lingering thoughts you may have appear upon the windshield like translucent holograms thoughts you no longer need you are able to visualize and watch how each stroke of the windshield wiper is able to wipe them all away, bringing you back to this present moment, driving through the cool late day air in this rural landscape. Not far from your home, 
in this coastal town. The fog is beginning to thicken, carrying with it a briny scent and taste that meets your lips as it gently blows in from the open window. The misty haze begins to thicken into a cloud of silver fog wrapping around your car. You come upon the long, windy stone driveway that leads to your cabin and decide to park along the shoulder of the road. Finding it may be easier to walk than drive in these changing conditions. And you know it will feel good to stretch your legs and enjoy the movement of your body before you retire in the cozy confines of your cabin for the night. Feeling safe and enlivened by this sensation and mystique of the incoming fog. You are so familiar with a path to your home that you could continue with your eyes closed if you wanted to. You step outside your vehicle, feeling the cool, minuscule droplets that brush against your face and hands. Comfortably dressed in an oversized plush sweater and your favorite jeans. You give yourself a gentle hug as you close the car door and allow your shoes to crunch against the loose, glistening, cloud gray stones of the driveway. Taking it one step at a time, inhaling and exhaling as you walk among the redwoods that stand around you, having proudly endured for hundreds and hundreds of years before you. As tall and rigidly as they stand right now, you know how easily their branches may give when the wind picks up allowing you to understand how it takes strength and flexibility to experience such longevity and thrive like these ancient trees. A fawn crosses your path and is followed by her mother whose long lashes blink upon her doe eyes. And she meets your gaze in a moment of trust, feeling connected as she knows you as well as you know this forest and landscape. How lucky you feel to share your own life with the life that surrounds you, feeling as rooted to the earth below your feet as the deep roots set by the sequoia trees that surround you. It feels good to belong, to have the security and feeling of solidity in an ever-changing world. Continuing as darkness sets in and the fog embracing each tree with floating tendrils that ride the gentle breeze and continue to flow. You inhale and exhale and now smell the fragrance of wood burning as you look up and see the darker plumes of onyx chimney smoke 
interwoven with the elephant gray fog. You recognize the silhouette of your cabin hole with a porch light cutting through the fog with its golden ray of hope. The fog is otherwise so thick you scarcely see beyond a step or two. It feels comforting, as if a baby swaddled in a blanket. So too do you feel this enclosure by the fog, and it allows you to go deeper within a welcome feeling of solitude, where you may connect to your deeper self, knowing that you are home. That you are in a safe place to explore this mystique and enjoy the show that nature may put on. How wonderful it is to know that like the weather conditions around you, nothing may stay the same forever. So even if you are struggling or feeling challenges, they pass just the same in time. You close your eyes for a moment to enjoy the stillness, focusing on the sound of the babbling brook that wraps around your property. The sound soothing and purifying, just as the cool, misty air that you inhale with great relief for each breath. And you smell the earthiness of the forest floor, now damp and rich, opening your eyes, noticing how even with the fog, the brilliantly hued wildflowers offer pots of lilac and cornflower and fuchsia in the otherwise muted tones of the forest at dusk, enjoying just a few more moments of this mystical display by Mother Nature. You feel your body growing quite tired. It is the kind of tiredness one feels after a productive day and a journey well traveled. You come upon the solid wooden steps that lead to your cabin's entry. Looking at the droplets that have formed like tiny glass globes, reflecting all that is around. Counting each step, as you ascend. One, two, three, four, five. Home at last. This cabin is of your own design, taking in all the aesthetic beauty that you enjoy and had tailored perfectly to create this dream home. And there are windows that run from ceiling to floor in the main room, which may tint entirely black when you seek privacy and refuge, but may also look upon the natural scenery that surrounds you. Approaching the door you run your hand upon its artfully designed stained glass window that creates an image that means something to you. Perhaps it is a symbol or a landscape, or perhaps a flower or ocean wave. Whatever it is, this image is formed by your favorite hues 
in multicolored glass and always gives you a feeling of being inspired and welcome home. Opening the door, you enter the foyer of your cabin that feels both cozy and lofty at the same time. It is just the kind of space that you feel most comfortable in. You remove your shoes and socks and leave them on the doormat. The room is dimly lit by the burning fire in the fireplace as golden orange flames lick the soot-stained stone wall of its interior. The fire's glow saturates further the red hues of the cedar walls and lend to the luxurious smell of your cabin in the woods. Peering out the windows, you see the thick fog has now surrounded your home. Rising higher from the forest floor and making you feel so very tired and relaxed. Almost as if you could float along as well in a relaxed haze. And you are so ready to find a place to fall asleep for the night. You walk to the spiral staircase that leads to your bedroom and begin to climb each step, counting as you go and finding yourself deeper and deeper into a state of relaxation with each step. One, two, three, feeling more and more tired and heavy, continuing onward. Step four, five, Six, seven. What a relief to be at the end of this long and winding journey, so close to the respite you have earned. Continuing up the final few steps. Eight, nine, ten. As you arrive at the landing, your feet touch upon the cool maple wood flooring that leads down the dark hallway to your bedroom, feeling gratitude and relief to be home, to be safe, to be in a place that is ideal for a great night's rest. You approach your sanctuary and bedroom, feeling the freedom that comes in a safe place. The freedom to just surrender and let go. Your bedclothes are laid out upon the bed and you begin to remove your sweater and jeans feeling a wave of relaxation as you change into your freshly laundered pajamas. You cannot help but inhale the fresh intoxicating smell of clean linen and notice how this fragrance always makes you feel so cared for. You let gravity win over as you fall into the plush softness of your king-sized bed. Upon this bed, 
is a hand-stitched quilt that was gifted to you by someone who you love very much. In any time you find yourself cuddled beneath its warm embrace, the memory of this gift feels as though you are being held in the arms of your loved one. The kind of unconditional love and nurturing that we all deserve that you know you deserve. Your head sinks into a mountain of soft, plush pillows, and your heavy eyelids close almost immediately. As you lie down, the softness of the bed intensifies the feeling of heaviness in your body. Unlike your small seaside town, with each light going off in each dwelling come nightfall, so too is each muscle and part of your body just shutting down for the night, letting go as you go deeper and deeper down. Thinking of the layers of embrace, how the fog embraces the trees, the trees surrounding your cabin in an embrace, how your cabin and quiet bedroom sanctuary are now offering a barrier of protection for you, like a gentle cocoon for the night and in the safe lodging you may have the most magical of dreams because nights like tonight are full of possibilities the fog whispering around you inspiring loving thoughts and a clean purifying air that you inhale and exhale. Your feet, so heavy and warm, relax into the soft bed. And your legs and hips, falling limp and very heavy into the bed. And your back and arms, sinking deeper and relaxed, cozy and warm, your neck and head are now tingling in the relaxation and happiness you feel, being in your dreamy cabin, inhaling the fragrant cedar of your cabin walls, and exhaling any concerns of the day. Inhaling the positivity that will bring you good dreams. Dreams that will better align you in this life with a journey without struggle and the foresight to stay in alignment with your true self. You find yourself Drifting in and out of consciousness. The happy in between and gateway guiding you from an accomplished day to a healing escape towards sleep. Knowing whatever sleep you receive will be of the utmost restorative quality and allow you to wake up refreshed and eager to start a new day. Drifting, breathing out tension, breathing in gratitude, listening to the natural sounds of the gentle flowing water 
of the silvery stream outside. Noticing how your mind has slowed and you are letting this time exist just for you in your very special place. Deeper and deeper. Deeper than you may remember going as your body is more and more relaxed. Enjoying this experience. This wonderful calm feeling of peace and stillness. Peace and stillness. The fog giving you the perfect excuse for this lovely night of hibernation. Going deeper and deeper into your own thoughts before sleep. Like a lucid dream to the sacred place where only you may go. Because within you is the secret you hold a special place where no one else needs to know your thoughts or desires. Because this moment here is just for you, free of judgment, a moment of bliss and serenity, a moment to feel at ease and at peace with your true self. In thinking of the construct of this beautiful cabin that you designed just for you, you may feel proud of your ability to visualize and to see the things that you want to have in your life manifest, where you may fall into a deep sleep with sweet dreams that heal you and unlock the answers you may have been looking for in your waking life. And as you drift, drift into the discovery of the deepest parts of yourself. In these depths, you surrender to sleep you drift through time and space to another cozy story. The choice is now yours. Early snow at the cabin. You suddenly find yourself walking at the edge of a winding gray road that leads you out of a small picturesque mountain village. Your breath condenses into whimsical and wispy silvery white clouds that float away from the warmth of your mouth. You can feel the kinetic energy of the town behind you, feeling as each step is leading you closer to stillness and a deep quietude. The air smells of wood-burning fires and decaying leaves and the rich earth. And as you walk along the shoulder of the main street that now turns into a barely used highway, you note the leaves around you are still in full autumnal glory. In shades of deep amber, chartreuse, magenta, and rich plum, the foliage delicately hangs. As the trees are nearing the readiness of releasing their leaves, of letting go, just as right now, 
you are ready to let go and release anything that may weigh you down. Anything that you no longer need to bring along in this new season. And you are comfortably adorned in a thick brick red plaid flannel jacket. Soft, worn in jeans, and insulated buttery lace up boots that gently sink into the damp earth that runs alongside the slick paved road shimmering with the wet dew and with each step you inhale and exhale saying your breath and perhaps thinking back to the first time that you realized your breath could be visible. How fun it had been the first time when you played around and pretended to blow smoke. And seeing your own breath is like seeing your own life force. The aliveness and being that comes with each breath. And how grateful you feel right now for each breath. The late afternoon sky is a deep gray. And you anticipate the change in the air. This calm before a storm sensing that even without the conversations you had earlier with people in the village, that you would intuitively know that the weather is about to change. And this makes you feel deeply tapped into your own intuition. feeling that has existed before you embrace the power of language and rational thought. I you. I love you. It was just a feeling. A feeling that you could trust. A feeling that you can now trust. It smells like snow is on its way. That cool, vibrant, metallic perfume that floats upon the damp twilight's air. And with this feeling, a few flurries begin to fall, melting quickly some even melting in the warmer air as they get closer to the earth's surface. Up ahead, you see a dirt road that veers off the highway. And as if to greet you, you see a hand-carved log sign that reads your name. This is your property. This is your sanctuary. And your heavy feet guide you as you feel the change in sensation. Stepping from the pillowy fallen leaves of the road's edge onto the firmer dirt road that is now damp beneath your boots. A cooler wind begins to blow as the air changes from crisp to slightly nippy. And you give yourself a gentle embrace and rub your hands against the warm, 
flannel fabric of your coat. You place your hands in the pockets and walk beneath the canopy of colorful trees that hug around the dirt road that begins to wind and to narrow the further along you go. A bird of prey flies overhead, soaring with its wings in a dark silhouette against the darkening sky. And a family of deer come upon the dirt path, familiar with you and your scent. They stop and catch your gaze. And for a moment, you connect with the doe's eyes that are surrounded by thick lashes. And you feel the shared awareness of the present moment that grounds you and brings you a state of ease. You feel a sense of belonging that you are home that you are of yourself and you are also of this world and this beautiful, sacred environment. The sky continues to darken above. As you come close upon a black A-frame cabin with a wraparound deck White Christmas lights are carefully strung along the wooden railings of the deck and the triangular shape of the home. A dog comes running to greet you, your most loyal friend, so happy for your arrival that he or she does a spin and chases his or her own tail in blissful splendor. And you smile. Your smile expanding into a deep laugh of joy. You feel the creases in your face. The origins of laugh lines that will forever tattoo your countenance with memories of joy. And when you truly look back, you can find even the briefest periods and simplest moments of joy that illuminate inside your heart center right now like the strong Christmas lights magically illuminate your cabin getaway. These blissful memories and sensations are strung together by the thread that is you. You are the keeper of these thoughts and these feelings and they make you feel so very grateful now and you may even visualize that there is a chest like a treasure chest kept within your heart center there you may carefully wrap up the string of gleaming happy memories for safe keeping. Whenever you so desire, 
you may open up this hope chest and feel your face illuminated by their bright, warm, blissful energy. Your pup leads you around the deck to the other side of the home, the back side of this sanctuary, this cabin that was built just for you. Face is a still lake illuminated by random porch lights on the other side of the water. Your playful pup runs circles around the deck and you turn on a switch that ignites an outdoor fire pit in the center of the deck. The dog nestles upon a wool blanket next to the fire. Feeling so cozy and content by the appearance of the fire, this primal thing that has kept those who came before you safe, alive, and comfortable for thousands of years. Near the fire pit, towards the edge of the deck, is a hot tub that glows brightly beneath the now darkened sky. You think to yourself that this would be a perfect time to disrobe and unwind. Feeling free, unwatched, and able to do whatever you desire. You remove your heavy clothes and climb the steps leading into the jacuzzi, counting each step. One, two, three. Before immersing yourself in the tub. And within the warm, bubbling water, the lights illuminate the tub in different colors, feeling euphoric as a strong wind comes through and blows your hair aggressively behind you. You remove your hands from the turquoise water and slick your hair back, enjoying the sensation of the cool air on your warm hands. The steamy mist above the tub covers your face and lifts with moisture as you exhale again. And you feel like you are in this magical state of mind. Once again remembering 